This December 1st, a new city council takes their seats at City Hall. For 160 years, another member has stood guard. That member of City Hall is our coat of arms. It is a 900-year-old tradition that dates back to medieval times when knights would paint their symbols on their shield. Later, they would put that symbol on a coat over their armor, hence the name Coat of Arms. When Ottawa was known as Bytown, our first seal was a tree surrounded by a buckle. When Bytown changed names to the city of Ottawa in 1855, a new coat of arms was designed by a man named Colonel George Hay, who lived here at 700 Echo Drive. Hay's coat of arms included some odd symbols such as wheat, an axe, and a beehive. These represented abundance, our lumber trade, and industry. Within the shield were a train, a tree with deer, our locks, and a bridge. The train represented the new rail lines in Ottawa, the tree and the deer represented the expanse of forest and game, and the locks represented our control of the waterways. The Chaudière Suspension Bridge showed our control of power. In 1955, a new coat of arms was redesigned for Ottawa. This is the original hand-painted coat of arms that now sits at City Hall. It was given to the city when it amalgamated in 2001. There are many symbols within our 1955 coat of arms which we still use today, including these wavy blue lines, which represent the convergence of the Ottawa River, the Gatineau River, and the Rideau River. In the red field above are represented the Aboriginals with their canoe paddle and arrows. Champlain's Astrolab is also represented. Colonel By's tools that he used to build the canal into Ottawa are also shown. Above the medieval knight's helmet is a pine tree adorned with pine cones and the symbol of an oak tree. They show fertility, abundance, and strength. On either side are the figures of a woodsman that represents our lumber pass, and on the other, a civil service rifle regiment officer, which represents our major workforce of civil servants here in Ottawa. In 1958, when the new city hall opened on Green Island, a 900-pound aluminum sculpture of the new coat of arms was hung on the outside. It is still there today. Our coat of arms turned 60 in the year 2015. This sculpture hangs outside the mayor's office. It proudly represents our city much in the same way as the Knights did 900 years ago. For the Ottawa Citizen, I'm Andrew King.